What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to do a handstand. So firstly, let's talk about shoulder flexibility. Shoulder flexibility is crucial when it comes to learning a handstand. When learning a handstand, you should treat it like a skill set rather than a strength move. Having poor shoulder flexibility will hinder your ability to learn the handstand quickly and effectively. When performing a handstand, your body should be stacked in a straight line from head to toe. As shown in the first clip, this is the correct way to do it. As shown in the second clip, the body is not stacked in a straight line from head to toe. This is the wrong way to do the handstand. This is because it will require a lot more strength than you actually need to complete the handstand. And that's not what we want because you want to make the handstand as easy as possible. The reason why your body isn't in a straight line is probably because you lack shoulder mobility. And now I'll show you guys how to test if that's the case. Stand with your back facing the wall. Make sure your upper back and your lower back are both flat against the wall. Now raise your arms as high as possible. If your arms are able to touch the top of the wall easily, it means you have enough required shoulder mobility. If your arms aren't able to touch the wall, it means you lack shoulder flexibility. And here are some exercises that really help open up the shoulders. These exercises should be completed at the start of every session to increase shoulder flexibility during the session. These exercises should also be completed at the end of each session to further increase long-term progress. Make sure your lower back is not arched. Now that you understand it's important to have good shoulder mobility to maintain a straight line during the handstand, let's practice strengthening the shoulders and the wrist. You want to walk up against the wall and hold it for as long as possible. When doing the handstand against the wall, you want to emphasize on locking out the arms and the legs. You want to squeeze your legs together and make sure your whole body is straight. Use your fingers to grip the floor if you feel like you're losing balance. The handstand against the wall is great because it strengthens your neuromuscular system and your body gets used to being upside down. Now that you've gained enough shoulder mobility and you've practiced the handstand against the wall and you understand your body has to be in a straight line, let's talk about the freestanding handstand. The biggest mistake in my opinion when doing the freestanding handstand is kicking up multiple times and trying to balance based on luck. Not only is this very inconsistent, your body also gets tired doing more than three attempts in a row. Instead, what you should be focusing on is technique. Every time you kick up into the handstand, you want to make sure your arms are fully locked out. You want to make sure your hands are shoulder width apart and make sure your shoulders are in line with the rest of your body. Keep in mind that when it comes to kicking up into the handstand, it takes time and practice to find balance. But here's the tip when you kick up, don't kick up too aggressively or it's going to cause overbalance and don't kick up too softly or it's gonna cause underbalance. If you do start to lose balance, use your fingers to grip the ground as hard as you can. Place your palms on the floor about shoulder width apart and you wanna really emphasize on squeezing the ground with your fingers if you lose balance. If you followed all these steps, you should be able to learn the handstand in no time. But remember, it all comes down to practice and patience, so never give up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've made it this far, comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to press like and hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions or criticism, please comment down below.